Have you ever encountered someone who seemed to possess an almost magical ability to see right through you? Someone whose mere presence in a room seemed to shift the energy, leaving others feeling simultaneously drawn to and slightly uncomfortable around them? Chances are, you've met an INFJ one of the rarest and most enigmatic personality types in the Myers-Briggs spectrum. Today we're diving deep into why these unique individuals often trigger feelings of envy in those around them, and trust me, the reasons are far more fascinating than you might expect. The magnetic mystery of the INFJ. INFJ carry an almost paradoxical presence that's impossible to ignore. They're like those rare books you find in an antique store mysterious, complex, and filled with wisdom that seems to transcend time. Their energy is both inviting and slightly intimidating, creating an aura that draws people in while maintaining an air of gentle mystery. This magnetic quality isn't something they consciously create, it's simply who they are. Imagine walking into a room and feeling immediately drawn to someone who seems to exist on a different wavelength than everyone else. They're engaged in conversation, but there's something more happening beneath the surface. That's the INFJ effect. Their presence often creates a peculiar mix of comfort and discomfort in others. People find themselves wanting to open up and share their deepest thoughts, yet simultaneously feeling exposed, as if the INFJ can see straight through their carefully constructed facades. This dynamic alone can trigger envy after all. Who wouldn't want to possess such a naturally magnetic presence? That crazy accurate people reading ability. The INFJ ability to read people goes far beyond simple observation or educated guessing. It's like they have access to an emotional radar that picks up on the subtlest shifts in energy, tone and body language. Picture being in a meeting where everyone's nodding along with the speaker, but the INFJ somehow knows that Sarah from accounting is silently struggling with personal issues, or that Mike from sales is hiding his disappointment about a recent project outcome. This intuitive ability often leaves others feeling both fascinated and somewhat threatened. Their gift for reading between the lines extends beyond individual interactions. INFJ can walk into a room and immediately sense the underlying dynamics, tensions and unspoken alliances. They pick up on the office politics no one talks about, the budding romances others haven't noticed yet, and the conflicts brewing beneath peaceful surfaces. This depth of perception can make others feel uncomfortably transparent, leading to a complex mix of admiration and envy. The depth that makes others uncomfortable. When most people are discussing weekend plans or the latest Netflix series, INFJ are naturally inclined to explore the deeper meanings behind human behavior, the patterns in society, or the profound impact of seemingly simple choices. This isn't a conscious effort to appear intellectual, it's simply how their minds work. They can take a casual conversation about coffee preferences and transform it into a fascinating exploration of how our daily rituals reflect our values and shape our lives. This natural tendency toward depth can make others feel shallow in comparison, even when they're not. Imagine being at a casual gathering where everyone's having light-hearted conversations, and an INFJ gently steers a discussion about a popular movie into an insightful analysis of human nature and societal patterns. While some people are energized by this depth, others might feel inadequate or envious of the INFJ ability to see beyond the surface level of everyday life. Their unique brand of creativity. INFJ possess a creativity that extends beyond traditional artistic expression. Their creative process is deeply intertwined with their intuitive understanding of human nature and their ability to connect seemingly unrelated concepts. They might see a pattern in the way leaves fall from trees and relate it to human relationship dynamics, or find profound meaning in the way light reflects off a rain puddle. This unique way of perceiving and processing the world often results in ideas and insights that others wish they had thought of first. Their creativity isn't limited to artistic endeavors, it shows up in how they solve problems, approach relationships, and navigate life's challenges. An INFJ might propose a solution to a workplace conflict that no one else considered, not because they're trying to show off, but because their minds naturally work in these innovative patterns. This ability to see fresh perspectives and possibilities can trigger envy in those who feel stuck in more conventional thinking patterns. The authenticity that makes others question themselves. In a world where social media filters and carefully curated personas have become the norm, INFJs stand out by simply being themselves. Their authenticity isn't a conscious choice or a personal brand, it's an innate inability to be anything other than who they are. They might struggle to participate in small talk, not because they're trying to be different, 
but because their natural state is to seek meaningful connection. This unwavering authenticity often acts like a mirror, reflecting back to others their own levels of genuineness, and sometimes what's reflected isn't comfortable to see. Consider a workplace scenario where an INFJ respectfully declines to participate in office politics or refuses to engage in gossip. They don't make a show of their choices or judge others, they simply stay true to their values. This quiet commitment to authenticity can make others uncomfortable, forcing them to confront their own compromises and adaptations. The envy this triggers isn't just about the authenticity itself, but about the courage it takes to maintain it in a world that often rewards conformity. Their selective social circle. INFJ approach relationships with a quality over quantity mindset that often mystifies others. They're not being elitist or antisocial, they simply have a limited amount of social energy and choose to invest it wisely. Their friend selection process isn't about status or superficial compatibility, it's about finding souls who can match their depth and appreciate their intensity. This selectiveness often triggers envy in those who find themselves on the outside looking in, wondering what makes some people worthy of the INFJ in a circle, while others remain acquaintances. The depth of INFJ friendships is something to behold. When they let someone in, they invest fully in the relationship, offering a level of understanding and support that many people long for. They remember tiny details about their friends' lives, anticipate their needs, and create safe spaces for vulnerable conversations. This capacity for deep connection makes others envious not just of being in their circle, but of having the ability to connect with others on such a profound level. The empathy that seems too good to be true. INFJ empathy goes beyond simple sympathy or understanding it's like they have an emotional satellite dish that picks up on the finest nuances of human feeling. They don't just understand what someone is going through, they seem to experience it alongside them. This depth of empathy can be both a blessing and a curse. While it allows them to offer unprecedented support and understanding to others, it also means they carry the weight of others' emotions with them. Imagine being in a group setting where someone is quietly struggling. While others might miss the signs completely, an INFJ not only notices but feels compelled to help. They might quietly pull the person aside, offer exactly the kind of support needed, or create a diversion to take attention away from someone's discomfort. This level of emotional intelligence and care often leaves others feeling both grateful and envious grateful for the support, but envious of the ability to understand and connect so deeply. Their quiet confidence. The confidence of an INFJ is unlike the bold, outspoken confidence that society typically celebrates. It's a quiet, unshakable knowing that comes from deep self-awareness and a strong moral compass. They don't need external validation to know their worth, and they don't feel compelled to prove themselves to others. This kind of confidence is particularly envy-inducing, because it seems unreachable to those who rely on external markers of success for their self-worth. Watch an INFJ. In a heated debate or during a crisis, they often maintain a calm, centered presence that others find both reassuring and somewhat irritating. How can they remain so composed when everyone else is falling apart? The answer lies in their strong internal foundation. They know who they are, what they believe in, and why they believe it. This unshakable sense of self often triggers envy in those who feel tossed about by every wind of opinion or trend. The way they handle conflict. INFJ approach conflict with a rare combination of empathy and strategic thinking that often leaves others in awe. While many people either avoid conflict altogether or tackle it head-on with force, INFJ navigate it with a grace that seems almost supernatural. They have an uncanny ability to see all sides of a situation and find solutions that honor everyone's needs not because they're trying to please everyone, but because they naturally think in terms of interconnected systems and long-term consequences consider a typical workplace dispute. While others might take sides or fuel the drama, an INFJ often becomes the quiet mediator, helping parties understand each other's perspectives and find common ground. They don't seek credit for these interventions, they simply can't help but try to restore harmony. This ability to transform conflict into opportunity for growth and understanding often triggers envy in those who find themselves perpetually entangled in or avoiding confrontations. Their vision for the future. INFJ possess an almost prophetic ability to envision future possibilities and patterns. They don't just dream, they see potential paths forward with remarkable clarity. This visionary nature isn't about wild speculation, it's grounded in their deep understanding of human nature and systemic patterns. They often sense upcoming trends, shifts in relationships, 
or potential problems long before they become apparent to others. This forward-thinking ability can manifest in various ways from predicting how a business decision might affect team morale months down the line, to understanding how current social trends might shape future generations. Their visions aren't just abstract ideas, they're often accompanied by practical insights about how to move toward better outcomes. This combination of vision and practicality can trigger envy in those who feel stuck in reactive patterns or unable to see beyond immediate circumstances, breaking down the barriers. The irony of envying INFJ is that many of their seemingly magical abilities are actually skills that can be developed. Their emotional intelligence, while naturally high, is something they've usually worked hard to refine. Their authenticity often comes at the cost of difficult choices and lonely moments. Their visionary nature is typically paired with plenty of solitary reflection and careful observation. Understanding this can help transform envy into inspiration. Instead of seeing INFJ traits as unattainable gifts, we might view them as reminders of our own untapped potential. After all, every personality type has its own form of magic INFJ just happened to embody a combination of traits that our current society particularly values and needs. Inclusion beyond envy to understanding. The envy that INFJ trigger often says more about our collective yearning for depth, authenticity and meaningful connection than it does about INFJ themselves. In a world that can feel increasingly superficial and disconnected, their natural inclinations toward depth and genuine connection remind us of what's possible in human relationships and personal growth. Perhaps the most valuable lesson we can learn from INFJ isn't about trying to become more like them, but about recognizing and developing our own unique gifts. Every personality type brings something essential to the human experience. The key isn't to envy INFJ, but to let their example inspire us to embrace our own authenticity develop our emotional intelligence, and contribute our unique perspectives to the world. Remember, the traits that make INFJ seem special their empathy, insight, authenticity and vision aren't magical powers. They're human qualities that we all possess in varying degrees. The real question isn't why we envy INFJ, but how we can learn from their example to become more fully ourselves.